many questions yet we say we want The journey continues in life, y'all I give thanks for life every day that I survive The journey continues in life We wonder why we have so many questions yet we say we're wise The journey continues in life, y'all I give thanks for life Good afternoon and welcome to The Journey. I am your host, Kay Brown. And I'm Andrea Moody. And sitting next to us is our guest for today, yes. designer Keith Lyons. He is the founder, CEO of Destin Designs. Yes. Nice. Say your shout out. Yes. Uh, he's, a shout out to <laughs> he's, my church. he's giving a shout out to his church, the which bar, is the Bar Tabernacle of Deliverance, right in Southern Boulevard in the Bronx. Shout out to you, and we're gonna pause right now to give a shout out, a reverential shout out to our God, who is everything. He's the reason why we do what we do. We love Him, we bless Him, and we thank Him for this opportunity to be here on the Matrix Studios with you once again, the best internet streaming station in town. As you know, this is the journey to the cross and beyond where we just want to understand the love of God and walk in it as much as he reveals it to us and we want to reach those that are newly saved those that have been saved for a while and those that are kind of on the edge just to let you know that this love walk is amazing and we're here to go beyond salvation and see yes, what that's are. all about um, our topic for today is Andrea you better stop. <laughs> you better stop. We have a designer here. What is <laughs> Our topic for today is fashion in the church. Exactly. Should it be permitted? And, and it's one of those things where when sometimes when we get say we don't talk about certain things and uh, we don't know how to go about certain things. And sometimes we feel like because now we're saying we have to live a boring life and even if you look at Jesus's walk when he was here like he had nothing but his own swagger let's right. call it that yeah, he and he he was a rebel um for his father's sake you know we want to make that be clear so that's that's what our topic is today feel free to call us up the number is posted there 718-239-9200 if you want to chime in on the topic we want to shout out our our silent viewers because we know that you watch and we want to thank you for watching the show so richly we did two weeks ago about dating, courtship, and marriage. And I know people yeah, are already asking for show. part three, so we're going to be Look working that. on that Look from a little that. different angle. Um, so what we're going to have for you today is probably in uh, about a half an hour or so, Mr. Keith Lyons, designer and CEO of Destin Design, is going to show us some of his creations. Uh, you primarily do accessories, correct? Yes, I do. Okay, yeah, good, okay. okay. And I must say, if I can, you are quite sharp today. <laughs> Isn't it though? Yes. You. Is this your design? No. Okay. No. This is something vintage that I brought. Okay, okay vintage good. is good. Yeah. Vintage is good. Interesting. I was going to say, why didn't you wear you? Oh, but well, this is me. That is you. This, okay. This is I thought that was you. This I thought that was you. But it's also a compliment when designers wear other designers' um, yes. clothing as well because we do take from each other. Oh, of course. So let's jump, let's jump right into this. Where you want to go with this, Andrea? Um, Should well, I put the question to you? Fashion in the church. Is there such a thing as fashion in right, the church? Is yeah. there a church fashion? Is there a style to how you, a, a how church? Right. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not. You just come to church. At, you know, the Bible says come as you are. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's a certain way you come to church. You present yourself. Look presentable. Mm -hmm. Right. Where, where you, everything is not showing. Like, your, your flesh is not on parade. Uh -oh. Right, right. So, so just wear Bible, something right. suitable to church. Okay. okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, yeah. I have one. <laughs> Would this be suitable? Well, that, because that is you can see, suitable. I actually didn't wear this to church today because I ushered. <laughs> so I had on all white down, <laughs> right. down to almost my <laughs> ankles. Right up here. Oh, and, and, and I was buttoned up up to here. But I still had my swag, right? Because right? cool. it's all about what's inside. Right. But you, exactly. you made a key point there. I guess there is a certain underlying way how we should present ourselves you said um not to be exposed and everything right okay like especially for a woman especially because, for a woman you know, hmm. there's men out there that lust okay and you don't want to get caught up in a wrong situation a man just staring at you and next thing you know something happened 
<laughs> because of okay. what you wore. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Well, can I just ask this? Can it be also for the men? Men also. 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 Men also. Okay, so both sides have to be. Yes. Be particularly careful in what, of they, what wear they wear and everything. Yes. Okay. Okay, so let me say this. Um, you said that we should come as we are, and the Bible says that. Um, when you're in Christ, you're free. We're, you know, whoever's in Him, that we we have liberty. Paul talked a lot about, um, you know, traditions that we often carry on within the body of Christ, within Christendom. And he said, don't let anybody judge you in food or drink or right. what you don't wear or what you right. don't right. wear. Right. Uh, so why should we give any respect to what we wear? If you know, we just want to go in and, and praise the Lord. Why? What do you? What do you all think? Well, I'm gonna let the designer let him speak first. <laughs> I mean, it's I don't know. Like I, I, I don't mind where what people wear. That's what they want to wear. That's what right. they feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. Like you come to church, but you know they say you come one way, but you don't leave mm -hmm. the same way. So <laughs> you can come, like your clothes, mm -hmm. for instance, come in. With like babes in Christ, mm -hmm. like right. that. Mm -hmm. babes in Christ, they mm -hmm. don't know better. But as they, you know, progress, progress in the mm -hmm. church, then they start to change. They look like what the people look like. Hmm. They start to look like what the people look like. So they okay. they'll know what's appropriate for church, what's not appropriate. May, if I may ask this, um, can someone be taught that? Can, like, would, would, would a particular church hold a class or a session for young believers and this is the don'ts and do's of uh, fashion? Would, would, would that be acceptable? Or of course. would that be? Of okay. course. Okay. Of course. I, I, most churches, they, they have, you know, they have their women's fellowship or right. their men's fellowship. They talk about those things. Okay. Of appropriateness. Okay. Like what to wear to church, like not exposing yourself too much, right? Right. Not exposing yourself too much. So they do. They they do. Some churches do. Like you know the 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 old sanctified apostolic <laughs> holiness. Church, you know about that, right? They, they gotta wear. You just wear, did it. <laughs> you just did it. Right. Uh -huh. No permanent hair. No your your clothes. You can't right. show flesh. Right. Right. Mm. That's good. So I mean, but some churches they they do teach about it. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Right. So I guess um, another question, and then I'll let you go ahead. Um, another question, would it be hard for a person that wants to get into learning Christ, um, and they're, you know, they may not have the wardrobe or they may not understand or even say, well, I'm not going to do this, then, then what would you do then? You encourage them to stay. It doesn't matter what you have on. Uh -huh. Right, right. It right. doesn't right. matter what you right. have on. You just come, you come to worship Christ. It's the intent of my uh -huh. heart. Right. Uh -huh. It doesn't exactly. matter what you, just keep coming. Keep coming. Mm -hmm. Eventually, change will come. Uh -huh. Right, right. And change don't happen overnight. Uh, right. No, the, it, doesn't, the, it doesn't. The women would rally around that particular person, or you know, a group of people would would start to say some things in in the ear of uh -huh. the believer, or either you know, help them mm -hmm. to to grow into it, to understand. You know, because a lot of times I think people don't understand why. Why now do I have to tone down my you know, my color or, or my hair or my, my this or my that. It's just do it. I just, you, you know, that's just personally me. I just see where a lot of times it says just do it. Mm -hmm. There's no explanation behind that. Right. Yeah. Um, so I do think that, you know, it's, it's needed for people to understand why. Um, like I said, maybe even have a class or maybe, you know, like I said, the word says it. And once you fall in love with Christ, you will fall in love with the way he, his things, his things of God, the way you're supposed to present yourself. Mm -hmm. But um, lots of times I just think that people get lost between, you know, because I was one of those, those people okay. that where, you know, I saw, um, you know, the, the women of the church dressed a particular way and I didn't. I didn't have that, or I was never taught that, so I felt like an outsider, uh -huh. and I had to break through, so I'm just wondering, you know, for our younger generation, you know, I wouldn't want that to happen to them, so I would say that I think that we need to let them know, yeah. you know, um, more intently, you know, this is why you, you know, have to lower the skirt, or, you know, tone down the lipstick, or whatever it may be, you know, right. that kind of thing. So my lips are quite red right now. <laughs> I just, I just, I just want to point that out. Okay. And not that I 
and <laughs> write out different what they said. I, I let them say their piece. But for me, coming to Christ, being a person that from childhood was very colorful, right. was very different. When I was 14 years old, many, many moons ago, I was shaving my head, dyeing it blonde, red, pink, purple, green. I expressed myself through color. I had my own style. I, not necessarily that I was showing everything, but I, the way how I dressed reflected how I felt. Right. And it was just a part of my personality. And when I when I came to Christ, n not that I was focused on what was going on around me, my focus was on him. I was so hungry, I was so thirsty. I didn't really care right. what was going on. I didn't know church right. dress, right. church groom, you know. You know how I was, mm -hmm. church tradition, church, church anything. I just wanted to know Christ and I knew they had it. And I know they could teach me a thing or two about, about him until he began to speak to me mm -hmm. for himself right, through his word. Right. Mm -hmm. And and I was that babe in Christ. Like, my wardrobe, even though I didn't wear short skirts, you got to know your body type right. and what. I, I didn't wear dresses at all. Right, right. I only started wearing dresses since I started going to church. Mm -hmm. I wore pants mm -hmm. um, all the time. And I still wear pants. I am a pant. I wear what I want to wear. Right. I, I, but it has, right, right. it has shifted a lot because now I'm carrying some someone in me that I must represent right. however I cannot lose me so when I first started um, going to church I remember someone said to me oh you wear your party clothes and I didn't it wasn't until like long after when I began to look at some of my clothes and everything like I showed off then what was my best asset which was and so <laughs> everything was low cleavage you know I didn't right. I didn't right. know I was half naked at the time mm -hmm. that's that's how I was until I began to respect my body a certain way. That doesn't mean I have to lose my style and my swag, right. you know, that God gave to right, me. But right. it had gotten to the point where you said um, you start to look like the people. Right. Now, the Bible right. tells us do not be conformed to the world. And also, you don't have to be conformed to what um, we think church people right. should look right. like. You know, and right. I used to, I asked God to strip me of everything. I, everything. And I started to look like some of the church mothers mm -hmm. and started to act that way until like God was stripping me of all the, the filth that was in me and still doing it to this day. But I was trying to give back to him that personality that he gave me. Right. And I shared before, like I was on the altar one day, like bawling, like, I don't want to think for myself. I don't want to do anything. Just think for me, just take it. You know, I was in that, my, my surrender process and, you know, just take everything away from me. Like I didn't I like myself because right. I was mm -hmm. so conflicted. I knew that I had this person in me that was a little different than a lot of the people looked or acted in church and I remember hearing God clear as day say, said to me he said to me are you telling me that I made a mistake right, when I made you right, your right. personality the way you express yourself even on the outside I gave that to you I know what I'm doing because now you can go out and reach somebody that wear red lipstick or wear blonde hair right, or wear right. green hair you know but it's what is your intent it's like the brother said if I'm gonna if I'm gonna wear like a skirt or a shirt that's really low I can do that I can do that. Course, I right. may not be reverencing God the way that I should, but he's going to meet me where I am. Right. And I could jump, shout, and praise, and bless the Lord and everything else. Meanwhile, somebody is lusting over me, right? So right. I may right. be enjoying my liberty and my freedom in Christ, right. which we should but be you. you. Right. But your we're supposed to prefer our brothers over, our over right. ourselves. So like Paul said, don't let nobody judge you in what you wear, um, whether you keep holidays or not. He said, if, if there's so if it's going to cause contention, then we have no such tradition. We have nothing like that. However, right. he does say that we, we ought to prefer our brothers right. over ourselves. Don't use your freedom as a liberty to cause somebody else to fall. Exactly. So if I know that if I wear this, I'm fine. I can wear this. I'm good with it. I'm not at my intent. I'm going to bless God. This is what I got. First thing in my closet, I'm going to put it on and I'm going to go jump right. and shout. But if I stop for a minute and think and say, hmm. This may get a, you know, a guy. Maybe he's struggling with, you know, fornication or whatever, right. or just like, oh, just right. any normal exactly. person. Right. Exactly. You know, I don't want to get him riled up. So I'm free. I can wear this if I want to. Right. God is still gonna see me. Right. You know, I'm not. I'm not there. Even though my heart's intent may not be that I'm trying to get 
brother Keith to look at me or this right. person or for shock value, right? I have to take the next person into consideration. I personally don't want to look like anybody in church. Right. Exactly. I want to look like me. Right. I want to take other people into consideration, but I want to 